Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the N172. In this module, we're gonna still focus in into the remote display, but we're gonna do is to upgrade the firmware. Okay, so what we need to know is that for this specific unit in the bottom, okay, there is a micro USB port, so we require this this cable, which is different from the one from the PLC, okay. There's something that you need to know. And then there is two ways to upgrade the firmware. We can use the EcoStructure Machine Expert installer, okay? Or we can use the EcoStructure Machine Expert and go to the commissioning part. In the presentation, there is an explanation how to use in the commissioning part, but I want to show you how is the upgrade process, okay? Using only the installer. So let's go into the program so we can show you how this is done. So first thing I'm gonna open this project, okay? Which is the one that we already been using. So here you can see, okay, that I don't have any display with me. So I'm gonna create a new one. You can see here that, for example, the only displays that we have, okay, for the N172D are portrait or landscape, okay? So, in my case, it would be portrait. But, as you can see, in the previous part, there is only uh, wall mounting or flash mounting. So it doesn't care if it's flash or wall mounting, it's the same program. So that is good. We can buy one for the flash and then if we want to change the program, we don't need to do anything to just download to the new display. So I have download in my installer, okay, EcoStruction Machine Expert HBC installer, this display, which is the one that I have here in my case. So if we go back to the file, okay, this one, okay, I'm gonna close this one, open this one only. You can see here there is no any additional file, okay. So let's go back to the software. So what I'm gonna do now is to create the project, then to be used in the later part of the model. So I'm gonna use open, I'm gonna create a new one, PRG display. Okay, good. It will open an instance of uh, EcoStruction Machine Expert only. And if we want to upgrade the firmware, you just need to go to commissioning and start the process. But this explanation is already made in the presentation. I'm just gonna do it in the EcoStruction Machine Expert HBNC installer. So, I want to show you this in the training, okay. This already create a PRG display, which is the program for the displayed unit. So now let's go into the installer, okay. I'm gonna adjust the camera, okay, just to focus into the remote display. Let me just verify this. Okay, I'll remove it, put it again. Mm, this is not what I was looking for. There we go. So here, let's zoom in a little bit more. Okay. What I want to show you is the actual firmware that we have. Okay, in this unit. So going to show you here. When we power up the unit, you can see here MSK659 underscore 06. This one is related to the firmware. So, I want to try to connect to the unit. In order to verify that I'm connected, okay, we can use the device manager.
and check the ports. So, in my case, let me just open the camera so you can see it. Okay, I'm connected to this port, so I'm going to remove it. So you will see in the screen that the comfort has already been gone. I'm going to connect again. Okay, connected the COM port. So this is just to verify the COM port. The COM port 4. So what we need to do is to go to the settings. Okay. Click on Modbus properties COM 4. It's already active. Okay, so now we should be able to connect. But there is something here. I have already have in this part of the project this unit so what we're gonna do is to disable communication to this PLC you will see here the red cross and now I'm gonna communicate to the display so let me show you the screen okay it is connected I'm gonna connect here you can see that uh, this message, okay, it's trying to connect to this display with this finger, okay. As you can see here, I should show you again. See here, 659, 659 underscore 6, which is this one, okay. The message is related to the finger that I have in the project, okay, when I create the project, the file film. The file version is this one that ends with seven, okay, and the one that I have in the unit it ends with six. That's the main difference. I'm gonna connect anyway. So now I'm gonna download the firmware. Here you can see also another information that the unit that I have has the embedded temperature, humidity, and presence. So now I'm gonna to download the BIOS. We need to browse, select the firmware. I'm going to upgrade it to this one. Open, and then I'm going to use download. Let me show you the camera. Okay, so you can see the process. So now we need to wait. You can see here. This is the firmware version. Okay, the virus version also, but this one is the one that we can recognize much better. So now we need to wait. It takes some time, okay, but this process is the same as uh, if I go to the eco Machine Expert and I go to the Commission, it's the same part, and that is explaining the presentation, that's why I want to show you this way to do it, okay, the upgrade the firmware or downgrade the firmware. Okay, it's almost done. See here on the bottom of the screen that we are still connected. <laughs> okay, good. As you can see here the legend, Fingward upgrade has been completely successful. Now the HMI is booting, this is the remote display is booting, it's loading. I just need to wait. Mm -hmm. Good. There we go. As you can see here, that the firmware versions have been changed. 
okay that ends now in 7 so if I want to connect now let me just double check uh, machine this is the same if I connect to the unit there is no uh, warning message okay we are connected to the units so I want to show you another thing here I told you that this unit has temperature humidity and presence so if we go to the BIOS parameter okay if we go to input values we can see here that the value of the NTC that is embedded the humidity sensor and the proximity you can see here the address so if we want to remotely connect to the unit and know the value we need to point to these addresses so I'm going to read this information here you can see the humidity and the temperature and the presence so in order to better see this okay what I'm going to do is to use the oscilloscope embedded in the installer and use the presence oh, no, I want to use only the presence can see here or let's adjust this a little bit more so what I'm gonna do now is to show you the presence so when I use the hand here oops there we go see so this is the presence I'm going to put the hands again and forgot to put the camera okay camera there we go see this is the embedded sensor for the presence so if you want to use some logic we need to access to this part okay PR and then when it's one okay it indicates there is present on it okay so this is for the embedded sensor okay we don't have the values if we want to use the one that is in the flash mountain okay because it doesn't have the embedded sensor but this one that is the um, wall mounted we have this embedded sensor on it okay we have temperature temperature and um, humidity or temperature humidity and the presence okay so now in the next part of this module we're going to focus in the implementation of the communication between this display and the plc via modbus and the remote display would be the master in the communication but it can also be the slave and the plc would be the master and i'll leave you in the presentation also how is the same process okay but using only the communicate the commissioning part of the software okay you will see read this information uh, is the same process but a different part okay so if you have any further question just give us a call or contact us by email thank you very much